Hello and welcome to X and Y Gaming Casually Competitive Impromptu Yu-Gi-Oh! In the last video I mentioned I would be going over the Gravekeeper's deck uh, using the skill of Tomb of the Pharaoh. I also alluded to the fact that they're not that great. Uh, and they're not. So, I'm not the best deck builder in the world. I also don't exactly know how Gravekeepers are supposed to work. What I do know is... Their artwork is really cool, uh, and I have a lot of fun playing them. <laughs> so, I got the Ishizu uh, Tomb of the Pharaoh skill, which as you can tell by the artwork, probably, it's basically a free necro value you start the game with. So absolutely, that's, that's the only skill I need. So there's your free necro value. And running two Gravekeeper's Recruiter. So basically, if they get destroyed, you get to add a Gravekeeper. Any, uh, it's any Gravekeeper with 1500 or less defense. Uh, that, that, that's all of them that I have, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Gravekeeper's Priestess, because she will give them all a 200 attack and defense boost. She'll also treat the field as Necro Valley, so in the unfortunate event that this gets destroyed, and this is giving them all a 200 attack and defense boost as well, this is basically her effect. It's not, it's not real Necro Valley, which is weird. Um, which is, that's fine, I guess. Hopefully there's going to be an actual Necro Valley field spell at some point, or an improved version of this. I'm not sure how well they were future-proofing it, but, you know, whatever. And then uh, there's three Gravekeeper's Ambusher, so 1700 plus the basic, that is 19, and if you have two more of her... 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. That's, I don't know, it's not that great. Two Gravekeeper's Chief, because you can only control one of them at a time. But basically, when he comes out as a tribute summon, you get a Gravekeeper from the graveyard. So basically, like, oh, I tribute the Ambusher for Chief. Your Ambusher's coming back, son. Like, yeah, that's no no big deal. And then Gravekeeper's Oracle, because he's the, he's the boss monster. You know, the basic play is to stall long enough to keep at least Chief, maybe Ambusher, hopefully two Ambushers, because basically this guy gains 100 attack per level, so like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You'd be playing 1,300 attack, 3,300, right? You can't have two Chiefs. And anything else, like if there was another level 5, that's more tribute, that's too much. That's just too much. But he's good. It's an attack boost per level. Uh, and then also if you... It is, you can do... You can do... You can tribute one, two, or three. Gravekeeper's monsters. So I guess any monster. But he gains effects based on the number of Gravekeeper's monsters. So we only run Gravekeeper's monsters. And if you do one, he gets an attack boost. If you do two... Then you get to destroy all set monsters your opponent controls. That's pretty cool. Get to get around possible flip effects. Uh, and if you do three, all of your opponent's monsters that are face up, they lose 2,000 attack and defense. That's just hardcore, dude. For spells, we run one hidden temples of Necro Valley. Uh, basically, just. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Neither, yeah, neither player can special summon monsters, period. Well, except Gravekeepers. And, and if either a Gravekeeper's monster or Necro Valley is not on the field, you know, that, one, any of them, uh, or the Priestess by herself, because she makes the field count as Necro Valley, uh, and then it goes away. And I just, I don't know, so far one is enough. But I don't know, maybe you'd want to run two. Again, I'm not the best. I'm really not. <laughs> Gravekeeper Steel, or Steely, Steely, Steely Feel, Steel, Gravekeeper Steel, let you recycle two Gravekeepers from your graveyard to your hand, that, I don't know, I like it, Shard of Greed, I would immediately replace this with a Wonder One, just saying, uh, but Wonder One also insinuates that you have to get rid of a monster, and I'd rather keep them on the field long enough to, you know, become a tribute for the Oracle. 
Uh, and then these, which should technically be Windstorm of Etiqua, so they can protect against more than just one attack. But I've got a lot of security orbs right now, so there are three security orbs. And then three monster, I mean, uh, three Rite of Spirits, which is essentially a monster reborn, but for Gravekeepers. So basically, if they do die, and they don't get to get protected by the security orb, then you just Rite of Spirit them back, and then tribute them off for the Gravekeeper boss monster. Yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, summon some Gravekeepers, bring them back, send them off for the Oracle, and then just hopefully run over everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Gravekeeper deck is kind of right up there with the Spell Counter deck, wherein it's not that great. <laughs> But again, it's speed duels. It's meant to be casual fun. Uh, and that's what I aim for it all to be. It's casual fun. So if you like the Gravekeepers, I like the fact that I finally pulled a damn Necro Valley skill card. But you can also like the video if you want. Also, comment down below and tell me what you did or did not like about it. You know, that'd be cool. If you like, comment, subscribe, and hug your mama. I mean, just... just Fucking do it. <laughs>